What's up, y'all? It's Dubby, and I'm back with a weekend wheel game. This was game five. It's a challenge between me and Problem. What we do is we spin a wheel to find out what kind type of circumstances you got to play your weekend league game with. You know, they compound on top of each other. Sometimes you'll have gold DBs, gold wide receivers, no tight ends. You have to run a certain playbook, no running the ball, stuff like that to really detriment your ability to win the mad game. And it's a challenge between me and Problem that we're going to do for the rest of the year here with Weekend League to kind of keep it new and fresh, keep it more entertaining for y'all. And this was my fifth game. I had to win this game in order to force overtime with Problem. And by this time, it's your fifth game. So all the little things that you roll on the wheel, that goes ahead and compounds and goes on top of each other, top of each other, top of each other. So at this point in the game, this point of Weekend League, my fifth game, I have an all-silver D-line. I have all gold secondary, no 91 zone, actually pretty terrible guys, and you see here he throws a C route and nobody's near him, normally a deep blue will play that a little bit, at least tackle him, but he's just wide open, so I have a silver D line, gold DBs, I still have my linebackers though, Barr and Landon Collins, they're making plays for me, so that's what I kind of got to lean on defensively here is the fact that I have my linebackers forced to punt the first drive, now offensively, I have a, I have a bronze running back, now there's only... I think there's only two bronze running backs, but I chose to use um, Reggie Bush. So I can't really run the ball. He has 82 speed and just is terrible. So I'm not going to run the ball. I'm also forced. I can't run bunch. I can't run tight. I can't run anything good. So what I'm going to do is run a little ace under center, and we fumble here with Vic. Vic was probably going to be my main offense, but the fumble with him after getting a stop is a big deal. And here he goes running a little draw. I have a silver D-line. So all my D-linemen have no strength, no block shed, no ability to play at all, really. And here we go, just 91 zones. That's an out route that bounced back up the field. And my zones had nothing. To, they couldn't do nothing. And Bolitnikov kills it. And here we go, first play. We get a pancake with Reggie Bush. And he's too slow to make him pay. Here we go again. He's in dollar, so I want to try to run. Even though my running back's terrible. But, you know, you can't let somebody run dollar if you're an ace. So I ran a little bit there. And we're going to run this. Ah, uh, here we get lurked. Jeez, that's just anticip anticipating he's not going to cover the drag the whole way. Terrible play there. So I'm down 7 nothing. Turn the ball over. Hopefully we can home do a field goal here. And we stop and we get to a third and long. Feeling great about the drive. We play safe. Only rush three. He hits his little drag. We're going to tackle Gronk. We're going to tackle Gronk. Or Gronk's going to run through my gold secondary for a touchdown. Not only do they not play great zone defense, they certainly can't tackle. And we go Reggie Bush taking a hit right there. So I'll definitely play it on conservative with a, with a bronze running back. Here we'll hit a big play over the top to my man, Teddy Ginn Jr. This play out of ace, I'm going to run a lot because I feel like it's like the main play I can move the ball with. Like I said, because of weekend wheel, I can't run bunch. I can't run tight. I can't run anything that I'm used to running. And here we go. Vic overthrows a touchdown. That's killer in this situation. Anytime they, your opponent gives you a touchdown, you got to be able to take it with Vic. But here we go again. We get the black and we get the bad animation. Not in bounds. Get a fourth down. Go ahead and hit my man, Clark, underneath. Get a first down right there. Here we get sacked. Uh, it's getting tougher in these two, three pass plays out of this because we get sacked again. I don't know what's going on. My offensive line is not holding up. I do have my main offensive line. Didn't have to tank the O-line. Here we go. Deep in route. Almost unstoppable. Unguardable is a deep in route. Smart route and in route. We're able to hit a slant over the middle. Get it to 14-7. It was a fight that drive, but we fought. Got to 14-7. Here we go. Running the ball a little bit. You know, my secondary, they're gold. They're not going to make tackles. They're not going to make plays in the run. They're going to be too stupid to start going right away. It's really a challenge playing with a bad secondary. But, you know, that's what weekend wheel's about. Sometimes you got to, you know, play with a bad secondary. And here we go, my secondary just somehow getting absolutely bombed by John Ross. I mean, I think my DBs have about 90 speed at the most. And 98 speed just toasted them. So, it's 21-7. to 7. I'm in a dark place right now. This is real. I'm getting sad. This is before half. Just try and go ahead and get the half over with. We get the ball out of half, so we have to get some points here. Keep the game competitive. We can't give him the ball back up two scores because it's just too comfortable for him. Here we go getting sacked away. We get to a third and long again. I want to take off with Vic. Make this more manageable. Vic doesn't fumble right there. Make this a manageable fourth down. So we go ahead and throw the out route and get the first down. The scramble made it a short fourth first down for me. So I was able to go ahead and get that. Here we go. Now we're going to start taking one. Now I'll start locking in. Like I need to really start going. I can't play around. I have a bad defense. I have a bad playbook, so I have to go ahead and make some plays here. I got to take my little short things. Every play, I got to take a, a little play. Here we go. We go to end route, but Ted getting drops. So we get to a third and five. 
That time, Teddy getting holds on to it after getting crushed. A little quick slant action. I ran right there. And here we go. One run around. Throw it underneath right here to Hester. Best spin move in the game. Go ahead and get some extra yards right there with Devin Hester. And here we're going to go ahead and throw it over top. Teddy again gets his feet in on the two-yard line. Run commit first down. I probably couldn't run in with Reggie Bush, so thank God he ran commit and I had a pass play called. So now we're fighting back. Here we go. We're running against my gold DBs. It's terrible pursuit. They're so slow. But eventually we make the tackle. Get into the fourth quarter now. I can't let him get a field goal. The game will be over. He scrambles there at 35. He's probably in field goal range. Here he goes again. We send the spot. Got to give Vic. Maybe he can fumble. Maybe he slid. Good play by him. Slide. Not taking the hit. Get to a second and nine. We go ahead and get the screen with Landon Collins. Get him third and long. If I get him again, he can't get a field goal. This is what I really need. Let's get some pressure. Great coverage. We're able to hit Vic. Got him. Ah, get him down. Okay. Now he has to punt. We're down seven. Money drive right here. With Reggie Bush at running back, you know, with this playbook that I'm not that comfortable with, but we're going to go ahead and make a money drive right here. Make a great read, hit the flat right there. Understand that, you know, the time is on my side. I have three timeouts. I can do whatever I want. Somehow, once again, he's in dollar and blows up the run. I, I mean, I don't understand that. Here we're going to run a little flanker dig right here. Yeah, great coverage by Mel Blunt right there. I think he covered Devin Hester pretty good right there. I tried to squeeze it in, but... Didn't work out. Here goes same coverage. I'm able to escape with Vic, get outside, get out of bounds, stop the clock. Minute left, three timeouts. The one thing about this offense is not really high power, so I'm not going to be able to just move down the field effortlessly. So we're going to have to take our chunks here and there where we see them. And here we go, Vic in the pocket again. Go ahead, get a couple yards, use a timeout. 39 seconds, two timeouts. That's plenty of time available. We go ahead here, we hit X, and we go ahead, look for the spin. Ah, oh, man, we get tackled. Should have went out of bounds. Wanted it all right there. But, and here we go, Vic overthrows a touchdown. Jeez, here we go. He's baseline pressing, baseline pressing. You got to always look out. Someone's going to baseline pressure. And here we go. I went for it again. Try it again. Vic overthrows it again. Get to a third and 10. Here's a play we draw up. A street crossing routes. And the deep end route. He only rushes two. Plays a little man coverage. We're able to hit Devin Hester. Possession catch. Get enough for the first down. 18 seconds, no timeouts. I'm going to come to the line here. He shows, gets aggressive. I only sent out three wide receivers. Low ball, dot for the tie. Right there, I blocked everybody because a sack would be detrimental. I could not take a sack. It would be game over. So I blocked the crib, able to go and hit the low ball for the dot. Tie the game up. We're in a battle right now. I'm scared of everything because it is gold secondary. Screen to John Ross, but we're able to tackle him. Here he goes for a bomb. And honestly, it looked, it looked scary when he let it go, but Vic just overdo it just a little bit. Headed to overtime. I always pick heads in overtime because no type of man picks tails. Pick heads. We win the coin toss. So this is my drive. I don't want to let him get the ball back because of my secondary and my D-line. It's just rough right now. Go ahead and start with a little baby dot. Hit, hit Delaney Walker. Get nine yards. That's how you get nine yards with Delaney Walker. That's good. Reggie Bush, got to keep him honest. I mean, he's terrible. But if you're going to run this offense, you got to pop a few runs in there from time to time. Here we go again, little baby dot. I'm locked in right now. I'm taking what's there. I'm going to move down the field effortlessly, slowly but surely. But then he plays the baby dot, and we go ahead and hit him up top, get a nice 20, 30-yard gain. I'm on the 20. I try to hit a run. Aaron Donald wasn't having that right there. Reggie Bush wrapped up in the backfield. Here we go again. We're going to go a little streak, a drag, and cross him route. We'll see what he does with his user right here. And he comes down, guards X. I try to hit it to, to Hester on the, over the top. Try the possession catch. He drops that one. Gets to a third and 18. I see him here. Up. Oh, can I can I hit the baseline press? Can I hit the fade? Lob it up. Teddy Ginn. Touchdown. GG's in the chat. Clutched that game out. It was a battle because of my secondary. My D-line was silver. But I was able to force overtime where I have to play problem. So I got that game recorded. Me versus problem in the weekend wheel finale. So for me to post that, I want 200 likes on this video. Also, please comment and hit the sub button. We're trying to grow this YouTube. I'm trying to bring y'all more content out of here. Nerd.